Hi, I'm Oblissi. Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to RNG the pretty much objectively most difficult Pokemon to RNG in Sun and Moon, uh, Type Null. Uh, this Pokemon's a pain because he uh, advances frames insanely quickly and is generally a pain in the ass to get a consistent hit on. You uh, need a few things before you want to RNG this Pokemon. One, you need to be saved right where I am, right in front of Gladion. Two, you need to have him registered in your Pokedex already. Uh, now, hey, sorry, cat. Uh, so yeah, you need to have him registered in your Pokedex already, and you need to do this through tradebacks with somebody, whatever. However, I have Sun and Moon, so I just traded the one from Sun over. Um, because the Pokedex registration messes with the RNG frames, like, really badly. Um, so with that out of the way, um... You're also going to need some out-of-game things, and I'm going to soft reset the game here. So out-of-game, you're going to need the, uh, you're going to need Eon Timer right here. Um, oops. So you're going to need Eon Timer right here, and you're also going to need the 3DS RNG tool, which uh, I will show you in a second. It should pop up right here. Boop. Hey, stop scratching my chair. Stop it. Uh, so... <laughs> So, um, now what we're going to be doing basically is we're going to be finding our initial seed, which is done through the save spinners. Um, you, you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. It's easier to explain uh, than talk. So, or ex show than talk. <laughs> so, you're going to go into the tools thing and you're going to click Gen 7 main RNG. Uh, and then this window will pop up. Oop, oh, gee, oh, is that? So, in this window, what you're going to do is uh, basically from here, you're just going to hit A. And on this screen, you're going to line up what this is with the end screen of this thing. So, oops, I just popped up something. I accidentally opened RNG Reporter. So if I'm not mistaken, that was this. Um, I could be wrong, honestly. <laughs> A lot of mistakes going on in my Type Null video, but we'll see. Um, so you just got to do this eight times or so. Um, and download link for this program and all the other programs in the description. Um, super useful tools. People who made them are freaking awesome. Um, so you just do this a few times. Uh, it can be difficult to line up the picture at first because it goes by it goes by pretty quickly. Um, so I recommend you just record it all with your phone and play it back at like you know slower speeds. Um, because once you're on this screen right here, the continue screen where my mouse is wiggling. You don't have to, uh, the RNG doesn't advance. You can leave it here, play it back on your phone, and pause it every few seconds and enter it all in slowly. So once you get your results, you're going to go back to the main uh, RNG window. So I'm going to open that up. Tell you what, uh, 3DS RNG tool. Boop. Here we go. So in this tool, uh, what you're going to go is to stationary RNG, and you're going to click legendary, and you're going to click type null. Boop. There you go. Now sync nature. Uh, synchronize always works with this Pokemon. Uh, I clicked Cosmog, but Synchronize always works with Type Null as well. Always works 100% of the time. So uh, bring a Synchronizer if you care. Uh, the Pokemon sucks anyway, so it doesn't matter that much, but I'm using Adamant. Just, you know, because why not? Um, and the only thing I care about uh, is Safe F only and Shiny. Now, to sh for Shiny, you need to know your trainer Shiny value. Um, oh, I actually have to double check what mine is. Um, let me... <laughs> I have to actually like open up one of my videos right now to see what, because uh, I think I have, like in the video, I saw my sh my trainer shiny value is kind of chilling there. You need to know it. You can pretty much only get it through hacking, so it's 3543. Three. Alright, 3543. Three. Alright, and you also have to make sure it's the proper game. Uh, I'm playing on moon version, not sun. It's important. Um, but that's my my uh, trainer shiny value, and if you have shiny charm, check that off. So you're going to want to check shiny only if you're going for a shiny, which I am, and you're also going to check safe F only. The default frame range is way too small for type null. You need to add a zero to the end of this five. The frames advance very quickly, and you hit calculate. And I have a few frames I can go for here. I'm obviously going to go for the, the lowest frame possible, but you can do whatever you want. Um, this one might be good to just like try for because it's two frames in a row. Um, I don't really know if I want to wait 20 minutes. 
Um, so I'm going to go for the... Now, now the thing is, if you uncheck safe, safe F only, it cannot guarantee... Like, these are low frames, but it can't guarantee you, you will be, you will be, it'll even be possible for you to hit them. So, like, even if there's multiples in a row of them, you know, like, like look, there, there's a few here going on, like, a few in a row. You're never going to get a big one in a row with Type Null, that's just kind of how it is for the Shiny for him, but you're, you're not positive that these will be safe. So I, I think you should always check Safe F only, even though it lessens your frame options like quite a bit. Now, if you're not going for a Shiny... You have a butt ton of options. This should not be too big of a deal here for you. Like all this kind of stuff. Like this will be easy for you if you are not going for a shiny. Going for the shiny is the hard part, but the rewarding part. Like this is a great frame set here that I cannot go for because I want a shiny. So with that out of the way, we're going to aim for this. We're going to right click and we're going to hit set as target frame. Now expect to miss the first time. It sucks, but you have to expect that. So after you right click, set as target frame. You go back to the Gen 7 main RNG tool, so I'm going to pop that one open and uh, hi. Ooh. What did I just do? Hold on. Wait, what? Hold on. This should be. <laughs> sorry. Uh, that was really weird. Wait, hold on. Something's like. Uh, I messed up my layout really badly somehow. I don't, I don't know what happened exactly, but yeah, that was weird. Anyway, I'm sorry about that. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so you you right clicked, you set as whatever frame, uh, all that stuff, and in this window you just click um, the calculate button, and it'll tell you what to set E on timer as. So three six nine five two, you set it as. So Three six nine five two. Now, for the pre timer, what you do here is uh, you set it to thirty five hundred or to twenty five hundred, depending on your DS. New three DS and new two DS use twenty five hundred. The old ones use thirty five hundred. Now, once you do that, um, I'm going to get rid of this for you guys. We're gonna get some this out of here. We're gonna send this out of here as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. This is really weird. Where's my cat here? Motherfucker. Alright, so uh, I apparently have to shrink this down, but whatever. Um, so, anyway, uh, you hit A on E on uh, your game and start on the end timer at the same time. And then you talk to Gladion until he gives you the type null. And there you wait for this screen, and you hit A uh, when Eon Timer ends on this screen. And I'm going to wait 10 minutes, so I'm obviously going to cut this. All right. Nine seconds left, and just have to hit A on the proper timing to miss our type null. <laughs> so you hit A, and you get it. And it's not shiny. And there's a reason for that. You're going to have to make some adjustment, and that's fine. That's pretty much expected, so... Uh, don't worry too much about that. Okay, I get it. <laughs> Alright, I get it, guy. Alright, so we're going to go into the Pokemon menu, and we're going to check out our Type Null and see how far off we were. So, what we do here is we go to the 3DS RNG tool, and we, we pop that sucker up. And what we're going to do is we're going to click using stats, we're going to uncheck shiny only, we're going to uncheck safe F only, uh, and you can leave, you know, because it, it's already synced, so our, their nature doesn't matter. So <coughs> we're just going to type in what stats we got. Um, <coughs> 93 and 52. Alright, and... Uh, so that doesn't matter. So we're gonna type this in and we're gonna hit calculate. All right. So if you take a look at all the results possible, <laughs> the one that's most likely is this one, and it says we were 15 frames too early. Um, so what that means is we're gonna go into our calculator here, and we're gonna to have to adjust our pre timer for the eon timer. Uh, so uh, hold on, I gotta I gotta pop the calculator open. Oh, it is open for you guys. Okay, cool. 
So you're going to do 13 divided by 12, or 30 divided by 12, 30 for the frames per second, 12 for how many frames early we were. And that gives us the number 2.5. Then we divide again by 8 because there's 8 NPCs in the area. And that's 0.3. And since we were um, early, uh, we want to add frames to our pre-timer to make it take longer. So we're going to add 0.3 to this. Uh, I'm going to double check something. 30 divided by 12 divided by... Yeah, so we're adding 0.3 to this basically. So that'll be 3.9, and I'm, you could do like, you know, 1, 2. Uh, so it's 3.9 for me. Um, now, if you were, you do the same, if it said plus 12 instead, uh, you would do the same thing as I did, except you would subtract this 0.3 instead of add it. Okay? And now we basically just have to try again. So. Uh, we just reset everything. I'm going to minimize this one, and I'm going to open this one. Okay, so uh, here I'm just doing another uh, attempt, and I kind of cut to my final attempt. But um, So I'm just getting my initial C here. Um, this took a long time. Uh, I mean, this was like six months of on and off trying to get type null. This is the most tedious RNG uh, ever. Um, <laughs> I, pr I probably would have had better luck to shiny hunting for it. Um, so anyway, this brief pause here is me uh, getting my seed. Um, my calculations ended up leading me to a pre-timer of uh, 3650 for my uh, old 3DS, but it, ch it changed wildly. Um, I left the timer in because it was only a minute and a half, and I sped it up by 300%. Um, so the things I can recommend for you uh, in regards to this RNG is do not give up. Uh, but take breaks because it's 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 impatient. I noticed that if you're going for a shiny, there's never more than like three in a row. Um, but aim for those ones. Um, only go for safe frames. I never at once hit an unsafe frame. Um, and if you want a shiny type null, don't be picky about its uh, don't be picky don't don't be picky about its stats. Um, the its occurrences are not as frequent as other shiny Pokemon that you could get. Uh, I don't know why, but like some wild Pokemon in the uh, uh, like some, some Pokemon in the wild, they're just like way more common than this thing. So uh, I'm entering its stats here just to confirm, and then I, I pop it up. Um, oh, actually, I actually think I showed myself typing it in this time. Yeah. Um, so that that's pretty good. Um, the only other advice I can give is. Uh, just to be patient and to try and wait as long as you can. Um, here I was just double confirming. I hit the exact shiny frame I wanted to by going to the, the hidden power chick uh, at the Peniola Ranch. Um, yeah, uh, I can't I can't give much more advice uh, other than that. But thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them in the description. Um, hopefully I'll have another video up soon for you guys. Um, and see you next time. Thanks for watching.